bartender, and today we are going to make another very favorite of mine, a Moscow Mule. Okay, so we all know that I love bourbon, absolutely love bourbon whiskey, but I didn't always. I was that college girl for a little while that drank vodka cranberry as every 20 year old. It's like a rite of passage as a 21 year old girl, although I do have some guy friends who, and you know who you are, still drink vodka cranberry. I'm looking at you. Anyway, so I used to love it, and one of the things that I first really liked outside of just like the normal vodka drinks was a Moscow Mule. Now when I switched over to bourbon, after working in commercial real estate with a bunch of 80 year old men who loved that and their cigars, and I grew to love them the same, um, I was delighted to find that there was a Kentucky Mule, or they call it like a, a bourbon mule, either way, but Kentucky Mule is the thing that I heard the most. So excited about it, so let's make one. Now what you wanna do is you wanna start out with the same thing as you would do with a Moscow Mule, and I'm always an advocate of not using like pre-squeezed juices, squeezing yourself. Then I'm gonna add some simple syrup there. Um, it's just a little bit of water, and I do it hot so that it will melt in the sugar and put it in there. So I'm gonna put a decent amount of that in. And with most drinks, I don't know if you know what's a trend, I like mine sweeter. I know I like cigars, bourbon, and whiskey, but I still am a girl and I like my stuff sweet. So I do have a little bit more simple syrup in than most people will use. It's just preference, figure out what you like and mix it in there. All right, so I got that stirred in. And I'm gonna add some ginger beer. Um, so many times I've heard people about the ginger beer. The ginger beer must be a big deal. I have one that I personally like. I haven't tried a lot other than like what they serve me at the bar. Um, I like this one. It's actually the first diet ginger beer that I found. I don't like the taste of diet stuff. But this one um, is a diet ginger beer that I think is phenomenal. Um, let's see here, it's Gosling's. You find it at the store. I say at least try it. Try it. But um, good ginger beer is essential to this. So I'm gonna pour some of that in there. I don't usually use a full can, but I'm just gonna pour a little in to start. Stir that up too. Okay. Okay. And then I am not using Buffalo Trace on this one. I don't think you need the sweeter bourbon for this. Um, I know I said I like it sweet, but I don't think that's necessary. Um, so I'm going to use a Woodford Reserve. This is double oak. Normally, if you use like just a um, a general bourbon, do about two ounces. This one is much stronger, so if you use a stronger or um, a better bourbon, you probably want to go with about an ounce to an ounce and a half. So I'm actually only going to fill this up to the ounce and a half mark and pour it right on in there. Okay, and then I have my Chick Fil A ice pellets. Um, I feel like I'm a commercial for Chick-fil-A, but I just think they're phenomenal. The ice pellets are obviously, like, that's what I'm talking about right now. And I'm gonna put those in there. I've also made like, like slushy ice, you know when you used to have like slushies? As a kid, I've made that. The only thing I didn't like about that, because I do like my ice to melt in this, um, the only thing I didn't like about that one as much was that it, like in the straw, it would come up the straw, and I don't like to, I know I choked on air earlier, but I don't like to choke on ice, it's not my favorite. So that I didn't like. So I will stick with the pellet ice, um, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more of the ginger beer in there. Just tap it off. I have a lime, freshly cut lime. Back to that fresh thing. Squeeze a little bit. Okay, that did not. <laughs> like, it's really fresh. Oh, it's difficult for me to squeeze. I should start working out a little bit more. Squeeze that in there. Drop it in. And then I've got my straw again. Give it a little bit of a stir. And you are done. And you have a phenomenal drink. That's like the perfect mix. I knew not to put as much bourbon in this time because that was, that was good. Like alcoholic enough to get like a, a, a serious buzz. All right, say it might be too alcoholic, so I'm not speaking true. A serious buzz, but not overly where you're like choking on it and can't make it work. You leave it under your shirt, it looks like a Chick-fil-A shirt. Oh, like a Chick-fil-A. 